Um, this is like long overdue. Um, I'm doing a video to... This is just my reaction to Chapter 1000. I've read it before and I've enjoyed it. But um, this is One Piece Chapter 1000. Right now I'm on page one. Mm -hmm. This is the last we could, I mean, this is the least we could do. Hold up, I'm trying to move this page. These stairs will take you to the rooftop. All right, so we're not even going up to the rooftop. Thanks a bunch, um, she, she, mamo, oh, she, she, mamo, she. This is really uh, I also have forgotten about it, you guys. Let me put your lives on the line to protect Christ. So, thanks again. I'll be back. I mean, yeah, I'll be back. All right, now I'm going to page two. The reason why I'm telling you what, what pages I'm going to is because I'm planning on blurring this out so that... Um, <clears throat> oh, that don't hit me with no strikes or anything i won't get this video taken down but anyways um damn this is guy invisible what's up with his body what's up with his invisibility all right so now we got marco fighting queen and king this is why i found out that his uh neck most mechanical i like i've never noticed that like well i noticed that last time i read this chapter but I would have never guessed his neck was mechanical. So he probably one of the young characters got like a lot of tricks up their sleeves. If you ever would have fought fight him in a one on one fight that I actually last. I know a lot of One Piece fans was tripping about how can Marco handle um King and Queen like that, but one thing we gotta realize about Marco is Marco got Marco has a lot of experience. So like he has more experience than um King and Queen because um, I think Marco was on Whitebeard's crew since um, King and Queen was kids, if I'm not mistaken. Because I, I think back when um, I think back when uh, when Odin joined Whitebeard crew, I think King and Queen was kids. Calm down, boys. Stop being wet blankets and let them through. Hey, run more. Get ready to fly. Woo! Alright, so he just threw Zoro to the roof. Dang, that boy. <laughs> that boy is swole. <laughs> Damn. They whooped his ass. Who just whoops a kid's ass this much? They whooped his ass. He got like a big eye and a big cheek. It's like he got a jawbreaker in his mouth. See? Uh huh? That's Father's Journal. Oh, this is the flashback. I thought for sure that you had died in, in the fire. I never imagined that one day you would come when I actually get to meet you. Here, this of course belongs to you. On that fateful day, I found this journal near the river at the foot of Odin's castle. Someone must have protected it <coughs> from the burning castle. <coughs> I think the guy who protected it from the burning castle was probably um that dude with the paintbrush. I forgot his name. I'm like like it's hard for me to remember all these Japanese names, but the trader dude with the paintbrush, I think he probably is the one who protected it because he's probably he probably is secretly a good guy. I think he was doing like what he had to do, but I think he's gonna turn around at some point. Because I, I didn't like I don't think he died when he got ran through by the uh scabbards he got completely ran through by the scabbards so i thought he was gonna like put up a fight but no nah, he just got ran through he got trampled he like he ended up like that dude from don't be a menace 
we got stumped out by uh by um Loke Dog and Trey. So that is Lord Owens. Owens my life. As well as brother he experienced all this right there. Father. These kids in this anime you know they can take a beating. Somebody put like bandages over his knot. You were born on white beard ship. Ship I mean you were born on white beard ship, right? And you even rode on other ship, right? Odin and the Roger Pirates predicted that a little over twenty years into the future, a new generation of young powerful pirates would advance into the new world. They were talking about this moment. I thought for sure that Ace would be the one leading the charge. Yeah, it's because assuming that Luffy's not Goldie's Roger Goldie Rogers real son. Uh I say she thought that um it was gonna be Ace because you remember back in the flashback, Roger said that it was gonna be his son that was going to do the things that Luffy it's doing a one of and I think Oda have written about that in his journal because he, he uh because Roger thought it was a son and I think Oda was under that impression as well that his son's gonna do it. Assuming that Ace is um Roger's real son. Because to me, like Roger looks more like Luffy and <laughs> and What's this? Ace looks like he could be related to Dragon, possibly. Well, who knows? Maybe I could be wrong, but let's just continue reading. But after he died, I remembered. Ah! Damn it, my tongue slipped. I spoke without thinking. Forget any of this ever happened, okay? Wait, more importantly, don't you dare laugh. Sabo and I won't forgive you if you do. That was my little brother's ultimate dream. What? What? Alright, I'm on page 5 now. I am keep forgetting to say the name of the pages as I'm going, but now I'm on page 5. Whenever Luffy said that, we also laughed at Adam, but I won't allow anyone else to mock his dream. We believe in him, and he honestly believes it. He believes that he can do it. That's why. Hmm? Ace. Huh? Hey! What's up with you, Yamato? I would never laugh at that. The king of the pirates uttered those exact same words. Those were the words. That dumbfounded Odin. Within Kazuki Odin's journal, there's a mention of a great man that said those exact same words. There's no way I laugh at that. Your little brother is amazing. <laughs> really? A great man, huh? <laughs> I like the sound of that. That is dope. Just like one thing I appreciated about the flashback, like about that part of the flashback, is that. Um, Luffy, Luffy, um, like Ace actually looks up to Luffy and is confident that Luffy can be the Pirate King. And it seems like he believes in Luffy more than he believes in himself and becoming a Pirate King. And that's probably because at some point he probably given up the dream of becoming a king. And I remember, I think that there's, um... I think during the, uh, like when Luffy was breaking Ace out of jail, um, I think I remember Ace saying that he wanted Whitebeard to become the King of the Pirates, but I, rem like, I could have swore I, I heard on Whitebeard say he wanted to make Ace the King of the Pirates, but I have to look back on that. Let's continue reading. Right now I'm on page 6. 
I would love to have a drink with them and Luffy someday. Ha ha ha, I'm sure you would. I have forgotten. I mean, I'm sure, sure you've. Oh my god. The fuck. I'm sure you would have gotten along well. You would? That man has already passed. You are talking about a, be a dead guy? Anyway, finish it. Take this. It's your Vivery card. What is this? Isn't it just a sheet of paper? Wait. So is she handing him a Vivery card? Because it's weird for Ace to know what a Vivery card is at that moment. Or is he talking to her? I haven't heard it. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, yeah, I guess he's handing her the Vivery card, right? I don't know. Yes, but that sheet of paper is what will let you and me meet again. You can give you <clears throat> you can give pieces to friends you want to meet again or don't want to be separated from. Wow, let's definitely meet again, Ace. I think if he would have lived, lived, that probably could have been his wife because he got. I think they would have made a good couple. They have similar problems. His problem is power is fire. And she's a dragon. Is she wait, is she a dragon? I don't know. I don't know what she is. Does she even get a devil fruit power? Because I ain't see her swim, but she doesn't look entirely human as well. Unless the the fruit that um that Momonosuke has, um Kaido was planning on giving it to her. And that's the reason why he had it put up, had it put up in a special place to separate it from the rest of the smell because it was probably a it, it was a successful devil fruit. But anyways, let's continue reading this page seven. <sighs> of course, Ace Freebury card. One day it disappeared without a trace, but the next day the newspapers told me everything. I learned that Ace was Roger's son, and also that his little brother really became a, a pirate and was making a name for himself. And that little brother is the same Luffy that you've bought here. Odin documented the future as, as follows. Yeah, I like the picture of them just sitting up there waiting on them i like that that look pretty dope makes them look all big and powerful and you see zoro law kid and killers all up there too now what page am i on i'm on page eight now <clears throat> more if you just keep showing up you like just should sit back and watch me fight Kid got the boss to say that. Nobody's concerned about kid. Straw hat. So many heads I want to sit. I, I want to serve on the platter. Sorry, I had to like zoom up to the screen in order to read that small piece of text. Anyways, a little more than 20 years from now, a group of pirates shouldering the, bur the the burden of the next era will advance into the new world. If by any chance I have already passed on, they will be the ones to take down Kaido. Page nine. Ah. I mean, ah, step, 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 step. Lin Lin, <laughs> did you know what this brat dared to say he would become? He's a cheeky one. He talked pretty big to me as well. <laughs> oh my God, my impersonations suck. He even destroyed my castle. First things first, you owe me an apology, Straw Hat. Oh, he apologized to her in his right mind. 
be all like, huh? Huh? Just walk past him like he ain't even worried. He ain't worried about nothing. <laughs> Zoro like dot dot dot. It's always candy mine that's always fucked up. There's two swordsmen who gets like majorly just laid out, just messed up, and there's candy mine and Brooke. <laughs> they always laid out just like that. But anyways, I'm on page 10 now. I'm just right at page 10. <clears throat> hey, Brad. Exactly what? <laughs> exactly. Exactly what? Do you think you'll become? Say it one more time to our faces. You just step over there. Luffy just ignoring him. Y'all like... You ain't even worry about him. Are you alright, Kanemon? I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> it's like anything in One Piece could cause a character to spit out blood. Like they get hit their head, they spit out blood. They could get just like hit just anywhere on their body, they spit out blood. And now Luffy just like looking at all his friends, they just lay out. Page 11. You have all of them use. They was doing pretty good too. They was kind of beating up Kaido for a second. This can't be the end. <laughs> uh, if I leave things like this, I won't be able to show my face to Lord Odin. <clears throat> <clears throat> in the afterworld. Alright, let's go to page 12. Won't you please show her our burden? Please save one of Kuni. Of course I will. It's, <laughs> it's the country of my friends. He all crying. Hey, oh my god, man. The toughest warriors in anime be crying for like nothing, man. It's easy to make them cry. Hey, Brett. Stop, stop. Sir Luffy. Try, guys. Send them all below. Poof. Watch this. Page 13. Whoa. Dear third, Gamu Gamu no. Razor is safe. We should never sell out our allies to the enemy. I want to take down Kaido. From a. Hold on, let me zoom up to a little more. From a 1 Okuni of 20 years ago. We have crossed over to this time here. The frivolous, the frivolous. Oh no, I can't see the word from, I can't see the text from back here, whatever. From Ebes, Ebesu, Ebesu town. Well, now make this way to the other world. So it is still, so it still lives on. The flames of rebellion. Lord Odin. He passed away as a criminal in the flower capital. Blair. Look, Kaido all surprised. You don't know what happened. Page 14. Red Rock. <laughs> All right, let's see, uh, Kaido, what are you doing? How could you just get, I mean, how could you just get knocked? How could you, how could you, um, just getting, how could you just getting hit you up, uh, knock you down? My name is Monkey D. Luffy, and I will surpass the both of you and become a me and I am the man who will become the king 
of lightning bringing you guys on this plan the king of pirates i like the end right here like where he just i like the way he just walked past them casually which is worried about kangma and all the way up into this point where he just like knocks kaido down and he's just like I am going to surpass both of you and become the king of the pirates. That was pretty dope to me. And the reason why that was pretty dope because it was in this moment where where you was taken back to the old One Piece. The old One Piece that had all that adventure and stuff in it before Oda was taking God knows how many breaks. This was back, this just, like, this chapter kind of took you back to when One Piece was great. When, when, like, before the whole New World One Piece back, um, the beginning of Grand Line One Piece. This was just like a kind of introduction, like a reintroduction of the great. I am going to become the king of the pirates, Luffy, and that's what I liked about this chapter. And so, I think this chapter was pretty good. I give this chapter like uh, 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Because I've enjoyed this. And I've been waiting to see this, this, um, this red rock. I've been waiting on him to use like a gear third uh, fire move. Like a gear third like red hawk. But this one's Red Rock. But yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I just enjoyed this one. I ain't got nothing else to say about it. Bye.